Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at uh, what's called the PC Cooler. And it's a cooling pad for your laptop. And it fits the majority of 15 inch to 17 inch laptops. We've got five cooling fans, honking one right in the middle, and steel grate. Uh, there's actually um, a control that not only dims, but it also controls the fan speed. I just choose to leave it full blast. I want maximum airflow. And um, it's supposed to have, you know, powerful wind, apparently. Um, yeah, I'll read you the Amazon ad, and I'll even put the link in the description. However, it does come with a USB cable to go into your computer, so it's uh, basically your mail-to-mail -mail end. Um, and uh, so one end into here, one end into your laptop, and you've got another port, so you have like a through port. So you can still use the same port, but rerouted to this thing for actually putting a device on if you want to, like a keyboard or mouse. Something that's definitely low amperage drain, because you're going to be draining enough as it is um, uh, for amperage with the fans and the LED lights. However, this also kicks up into different stages of height. Um, so let me just get my laptop down on my legs here. So you just pop this up and you have different stages of heights that you can put your computer. So let's say we wanted it up to that particular height. We just put the laptop on there and I believe right there, that's the maximum height. So this way, regardless of the angle your laptop's on, you could be typing like this or even playing video games like this if you wanted to. It's kind of your thing, whatever you want to do. But you do have, of course, multiple stages right down to, um, I believe, here. And then you would have one more stage after this uh, to here. And then, of course, right at the bottom. So all different types of comfort levels as far as that goes. Now, the air blows up into the laptop because the idea is not drawing heat away it's working with your internal fans because your fans are actually going to suck heat out and push it out uh, the sides back wherever it flows through so the, the idea behind this is it pushes the air up and through the entire laptop of any vent system that you have underneath as well which mine does have a uh, fair bit so yeah it's going to be optimal cooling uh, which is great especially this is this is handy i believe the most for gamer laptops like any low-end uh pathetic little weak laptop you know basic laptop non-gamer stuff i wouldn't even bother with a cooling pad they don't get hot, hot enough to do anything but gamer laptops always run extremely hot right because you've got your dedicated video in there your high performance cpu etc like even my ram in this thing has little heat shield stickers but you don't really need them um but it's nice to keep the ram a little bit cooler if you can i find in some aspects that sort of cooling system can go against certain components as we did find out with the m1 air uh the 2020 version the original m1 it was fine for using extra thermo uh, stuff in order to keep it running cooler where the M2 processor MacBook Airs uh, doing that actually will destroy your laptop. So yeah, not a good plan. Um, but uh, I don't personally go for the whole thermo tape on the SSD drives and any of that. Um, I have tried that myself and I found it actually went against me uh, on my SSD. So uh, I took that stuff off and it was perfectly fine after that. But um, anyway, so we're still waiting for the RAM upgrade for this. Didn't show up yesterday, so it should be here Monday. And I'll have 32 gigs of RAM in this puppy. But I wanted to show you this cooler because I think that this thing is really cool. Now, my wife actually bought this for me. It was a surprise. Apparently, she ordered me something else from Amazon. Another surprise. We'll have to uh, see what exactly that is whenever it gets here. So... It's like cool, you know, and because uh, I was I was talking to her about a cooler uh, for this laptop, and yeah, I I'm a little bit of a cheapskate, but I also don't mind spending money at the same time, especially on an investment like my laptop. That was a lot of money, and uh, so you know you're going to be in the same boat. You're going to need something for cooling. This thing has over 1,100 very very super positive reviews on it, um, so. 
you know, I would definitely take a look at this thing seriously. Um, and I have done enough testing to know that, yes, even though I play my games and it runs really hot, my internal fans will kick on still, even with this unit, I'm still running much cooler temperatures. I'm almost 20 degrees cooler than I am without this cooling pad. So that actually, it's worth the money to do it. And I like the idea behind too that you can actually dim this down. Um, this would be its like its lowest point right here um, where the fans just aren't really moving. Um, well, they are, but you know, your, your lighting is much dimmer. Now, if we turn this off here for a second, uh, we'll get a bit of a better view. So you've got multi blades on each fan. I expected a lot more wind to be generated from something with so many blades, but I guess when you have too many blades, it does create a good airflow, but it's not the kind of power level you would expect. Um, but it's still very good regardless. Um, I think it's definitely uh, worthwhile looking into. And you got this little kickstand too that stops your laptop from sliding off of it. Or you can have it just flat down if you want. It's kind of up to you. Um, I find that my laptop does move around a little bit because where any kind of rubberized footing is on my laptop, it will sit to a certain point along here. Um, but it could be probably, I think they could have probably flattened the design a little bit more here to give it more grip against your own built-in feet on your laptop. But uh, now I don't use an extended keyboard or anything uh, with my laptop currently. So for now, we're kind of sitting here. So we just collapse it down and put her on the top and I've got that kickstand. So it does kind of grip a little bit. Um, which is, you know, not major, um, but it, it does grip regardless. Um, as far as having the kickstand down, I can do that. And this would allow me to move it a little bit more forward if I needed to. So there's the option of the kickstand for that purpose. Um, I personally like the kickstand uh, on this thing up. I'm just going to click it back up again. And it creates that stopping point for me. And uh, I'm quite comfortable. Uh, sitting here playing games and I can raise and lower my chair so you know in this case I'm a little high because this does raise things up so if you do have an adjustable height chair just bring your height up and this new table I got uh, actually I can put my feet on the bottom part where I have a guitar amp sitting down below and this is actually perfectly comfortable just like this so that works really well um, anyway so do check the link in the description below that's going to bring you to the Amazon.ca website. Likely you can get these at Amazon.com as well. Um, but uh, do take a look at them. They're not massively expensive. But I will say this, they are definitely worth the investment because your, your computer will run much, much cooler for you. Um, which means better stability. And, you know, it adds more longevity and lifespan to your computer by having a decent cooling pad. And this one, I believe is definitely a decent one so and i definitely love that blue too because i have my keyboard on my computer set up as a static blue color because uh, it's multiple colors that i can do any color i want or rotate colors whatever but my static color is actually the same blue as those leds and so it kind of really goes well now you might be wondering why i don't plug my uh cooling pad into my laptop well it does draw some amperage i'm not exactly sure how much but you know, and it's not like I'm going to be plugging much into this thing at all anyhow, but I would rather save the energy of the laptop uh, because the more stuff you plug in, the more amperage you draw, the more power you draw away from the system. So I decided to go with an ex a little bit of a, uh, a USB extension cable and into a USB power brick and I power the cooling thing off uh, that way. All I gotta do is remember to turn the cooling pad off whenever I turn my computer off for the night, otherwise it'll just keep running, but you know, type of thing. But otherwise, I would suggest going with an external power supply. Get yourself a um, USB extension cable because the cable that comes on it, it's only uh, not quite two feet long or probably is about two feet, which may or may not work out for you. So you can get a keyboard extension uh, even an extra two feet or three feet, whatever you need. Um, and then your charging brick, you can pick those up at the dollar store of all places and they'll work just perfectly fine. 
and then this way you're not stealing power from your system in order to run your cooling fans so that's another added benefit that way too anyways that's what i got for you guys um i know my wife's gonna be watching this too so thank you so much honey for this that was an awesome surprise you gave me with this um can't wait to see what's coming next in the mail that she ordered me <laughs> that'll be interesting as well so uh and we'll definitely uh keep you guys up to date on everything with this computer i've got more videos to do on this thing yet so anyway that's that's it that's all thanks for watching and uh yeah we'll be sure to catch you on the next one so see ya